Hello and welcome to Mastering Microsoft Word 2013. My name is Jason and in this section what we're going to do is we're going to have an overview of the ribbon menu. So everything up here sort of in the top of the screen is referred to as the ribbon menu. If you haven't used a recent version of Microsoft Word then this is going to look quite foreign to you and many people you know at first glance you know ha have some uh, upset feelings about Microsoft changing the interface of Word so much, but I can tell you this, if you take a few minutes with me to learn what this is about and how it's organized, then uh, I think you'll agree that it's actually faster and uh, an easier way for you to dig into what you are used to dealing with the menu structure in older versions of Word. So here we are at the uh, a blank document. We have some general text here. Here's the um, ribbon menu at the top. Now, on the left-hand side, we have the File tab. If you click the File tab, it actually changes the screen and sends you to what Microsoft calls the Backstage View. So this is the Backstage View here. So your document is still there. You press the arrow here to get back to it and go into the File tab will take you to the Backstage View. On the right-hand side, you have uh, just some general information about your document, you know, how many pages, how many words, when it was last modified, and so on. There's some information here about protecting and inspecting documents. We'll talk a little bit about this stuff here later. Mostly I want to turn your attention to the left-hand side menu here, which is in the Backstage View. If you've used my Excel course, you'll notice this is very, very similar between Word and Excel. So here we're in the Info tab, and that's why it says Info. If you go to the New tab, then you'll be able to create a new document, much as we did in the last section. You can choose a template or create a blank document. You can go to Open, and you can open a document. Notice that it presents your recent documents again for you to choose from. Um, if you're opening from a computer, you click this guy, and you can click Browse and open the, the file from your computer. Also, SkyDrive is uh, integrated here, so if you have a SkyDrive account with Microsoft, you can store things in the cloud and you can retrieve them there. Save and Save As work exactly as you would expect. It gives you the option to save it to SkyDrive or to your computer and browse for a location. When you go to print, basically it uh, gives you the options for print preview and selecting your printer and orientation, and we'll get into these things a little bit later. And you have a few other options here, sharing and exporting and so on. So the details among these things we'll kind of get to a little bit later, but that is the file tab. So when you need to save your document or open another document, you need to go back here and to get back you just click the arrow. Now typically you'll be working in the Home tab. The Home tab is I would say the most commonly used functions and features of Word. These are the things that you'll be coming back to over and over and over again with every document that you use. Uh, you have your copy and paste area here. Uh, you have a font area here. You have a paragraph and styles and editing uh, areas here of the ribbon. So notice that the ribbon is broken up into these categories. So for instance, here's the font category and within that you can change the font. So let me highlight this real quick here. I can change the font. Notice that as I hover over the different fonts, I can see they're behind. I can see the font changing. I can change the size and again that's a live preview there. I can bold and underline and, and change the different colors and background material and we're going to get into all this stuff later. So ba basically this is how to change your font. Now notice that on some of these guys, in fact all of these here, there's a little arrow. In fact if you hover over it it tells you uh, that you can customize your text using advanced font options, etc. So if you go ahead and click this guy, it opens up a dialog box and for those of you who have used Word in the past, this dialog box lo looks very familiar. This is how we used to change fonts and bold and size and all these things, double strike through, uh, in past versions. So if you're comfortable with these older menus, you can get to them by just cl clicking these little arrows here and these little kind of old style menus are basically still preserved for the most part. There may be slight differences, but they're more or less still there. Also, the other thing I'd like to say is um, if you hover over almost anything in the ribbon, it's going to give you a little tool tip down there. It's going to tell you um, how you can use a keyboard shortcut if there is one, and it'll tell you what it is. So if you're wondering, for instance, what this is, it'll tell you create a numbered list. And that's kind of the way to get around the ribbon. If you don't know, just hover over it. It'll generally tell you. So in general, the home guy has copy-paste functions, font and coloring options here. These are paragraph options, creating new paragraphs, uh, left, right, center justification. Here's how you can create bulleted list and numbered list. 
and here's how you can create multi-level list. Notice there's drop down arrows here. So within the bulleted list, there are many different kinds of bullets I can choose. Within the numbered list, there are many different styles of numbered lists that I can choose. So it's all here without digging through any menus. Over here I have a style, uh, I have a style menu here, so different types of uh, style, so heading one, heading two, just quick access to things like that. We're going to get into that in a lot of detail. Over here on the right hand side you have find and replace. So if you're searching a document for a particular word or a sentence you can click this guy and type in what you're hunting for and so on. So this is an overview of the home tab of the ribbon. It is, the, it is home because it is really the most used features that you're going to be coming to over and over again. Now Moving along from home, the next most common thing is inserting something into a document. Typically we'll be inserting pictures or we'll be inserting tables or we'll, we'll be inserting, you can even insert an equation or, or an Excel chart or something. Over here on the left we can insert cover pages, different styles of cover pages, blank pages, we can insert page break. We can insert table, where we, I can go and select exactly how I want the table to look. If I need to insert illustrations, pictures, or shapes, I can even insert different kinds of charts. We're going to get into all this stuff later. Basically anything you plan to drop in your document is going to be in the insert menu. Here's online video, hyperlinks, uh, here I can insert equations and Greek symbols over here if you're doing a lot of math types of uh, equations. All right, the next tab is the design tab and inside there basically you're, you're getting the detailed fine control of exactly how the document's going to look. Here's the document formatting area up here. We're going to get into this in a lot of detail. It just gives you control over how the title and the headings look in the document. Also colors and fonts. We can change different styles and themes. We can add watermarks and so on. And so that's in the, in the design menu. So generally you'll be creating and typing things in when you're on the home tab. You'll be inserting and dropping things into your document on the insert tab. The design tab will be used to basically design the look and feel of your document. The next tab is page layout. This is exactly what it says. It gives you control over how the page looks on the screen. So for instance, this is a portrait. If we want to go to landscape, we can change it to landscape from right there. We don't have to dig through a menu to do that. We can change the margins by clicking this guy. I have different ways in which to do that. Uh, I can change my line breaks. I can change my indentation and my spacing and so on and we're going to be getting into a lot of this stuff later but just keep in mind anything to do with how your paper looks margins and tabs and things like that is going to be on the page layout uh, tab up here. The next tab is called the references tab. This is one that depending on what you're using word for you may not use it very much. If you have footnotes if you're creating a very long document with lots of citations you'll be adding in in removing and managing footnotes and so you'll be doing that here. If you have a, a long document like um, a book or something you may have a table of contents that you might end up adding, uh, etc. So there are different ways to manage your your cross references and your references in your lengthy type of documents over here in the references menu. Next we have the mailings tab and here is basically anything to do with creating envelopes, labels, uh, anytime I'm going to send a document to multiple recipients, there's some tools in here that we'll talk about later that basically let you do that. Now the next tab is actually very useful. It's called the Review tab. After you've created your document, many times you'll want to do a spell check. So you're reviewing the document, and there you go. You have a, a dictionary, a thesaurus. You can get the word count. You can translate and change languages. Uh, you can add comments to your uh, uh, work so that other people can look at your document and sort of see your thoughts. You can add little comment bubbles. And also here's something very useful called track changes when if you're working in a group of people you might turn track changes on and you send this document to a colleague who might make a change. Maybe uh, they want to you know, change this to Microsoft Word 2017. If you have track changes on it will tell you what your colleague has changed in the document so that you can see what they're, what they're altering. And I can accept and reject changes and we'll get into all this stuff later but this track changes feature is something that many many people use in Microsoft Word in an office environment. And finally you have the view tab and here is basically managing anything to do with how the document looks here on the screen. So I have different uh, layout views. Right now I'm in print layout. Uh, I have read mode which can basically just change it so that it almost becomes almost like a full screen sort of thing. You can hit 
escape and go back to print layout. I can go to web layout, which is very similar. I still see the ribbon, but it kind of gets rid of all the all the extra white space here on the sides. But I prefer to work in print layout because it looks like I can see exactly how this thing is going to look. Um, what else do we have? We have zoom, which is also able to be controlled down here, but you have control through a menu on the ribbon there. Quick snap back to 100% button is there. Uh, and the rest of this stuff is things that we'll get into more, but it, it basically comes into play whenever I'm trying to, to change how I'm looking at my document. And that is a 10 minute overview of the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2013. I know that it looks complicated because when you click through here, you just have so many options. But the good news is, is that once you learn um, what the different ribbon tabs are for, then it's very easy to kind of guess. I mean, if you know you're going to put a picture somewhere, you can just go to the insert and you can hunt for it. In the old version, digging through the menus and the submenus and the sub sub menus, um, it was very easy to overlook exactly where anything is. But here, there's really only a few categories, and so you can just kind of quickly scan around here. Uh, and of course, you can consult help if you really have no idea where to go. Most of the time, you'll be working in the Home tab uh, and jumping back and forth into some of the more common tabs like Insert and Home. So play around with it. I would recommend fire up Microsoft Word, um, look at the different tabs, get comfortable with it, and follow me on to the subsequent lessons where we will go step by step into these different functions and features and give you practice so that you'll know exactly how to use these capabilities of Word 2013.